Namaste. I am honored and moved to announce my Reclaiming Your Sacred Self program for women. This is a six month individual transformation program where I work with women through dance contemplation. My invitation to women in this program is to taste unconditional freedom, to move into the essence of your sacred self and to know what it is to move in this world in a sacred way. This is what we know as absolute presence, which is of course the essence of all contemplative traditions. This is inspired by the work that I have done with women for the last 40 years all over the world and my own life as a woman. For many of us as women, we may feel that the big story of life that we are offered very often has no place for those deep, intimate, soul level experiences and feelings that we hold. We're promised a lot of stories, economic empowerment, political empowerment, and while all these are important, somehow that is not the silencing, that is not capturing the silencing that we feel deep within us. For many of us as women, when we sign up to join the tribe, we do so at a cost. We have to make a pact. And part of that pact is that we may need to set aside or silence that deep calling within us. We may hold a yearning, a yearning that is about wanting to move and to be in a way that embraces all of who we are from the depths. To know that all of ourself is sacred and to know how can we move in this world in in the smallest things that we do, how can we feel that sacredness? For many of us, we think that we can feed this yearning or silence it or stop it by doing something, you know, the next job, the next relationship, children, and yet the yearning still lives within us. I have been honored and privileged to learn this ancient dance tradition. And I have spent 40 or more years of my life, not just studying the tradition, but reclaiming its contemplative roots. And I found that the source of this tradition is the divine feminine. It was the bodies of the female dancers. They were called apsaras in ancient times. These dancers received the revelation directly in their bodies, in their states of being. 
these dancers, these women dancers, held these practices in the ancient cave theatres where these practices were first performed. And it was because these women held these practices in their bodies that the community around them tasted what is sacred movement. This practice was the source of philosophy, was the source of all other contemplative practices, whether it was sculpture or poetry or painting. It was the generosity of these women in embodying these practices, these women who dedicated their lives to these practices that allow us to know them in these times. And this is why I am passionate about offering these practices to women. When I have worked with women all over the world, it was profoundly moving to see how women found their deep power. It was a, that power of sacredness and beauty and feeling that women know so well. We already know this so well. Whereas so much of contemplation is understood as being not of the senses, not of the feelings. But we women know that sacredness is drenched with feeling, is drenched with beauty, it's drenched with sensation. And that is what I find when I work with women, is that power, coming into that power of reclaiming that knowing, that beautifully feminine knowing, that beauty and sensation is the divine. For some women that I worked with, it was that they found the courage to step into their life's work without waiting for others to value it, the big story of life to value it. So this is not about becoming the next CEO or the next president. Maybe those things are important, but this is about something more fun fundamental, something more intimate, something within us that is not given to us by anybody that we already hold. And it is just reclaiming that, knowing that being. If the program calls to you, if it resonates with you, I will be honored to meet with you. There is a free one hour session that I'm offering and we can talk about what you're looking for and whether you think that this is a right match for you. We will then invite you to Consider which deity you want to work with. And this is important because your choice of the deity is where your consciousness is resonating at the moment. Deities are not just gods that one worships. They are actually practice constellations. And by this I mean that they are these holding spaces, these expansive holding spaces of feeling, of stories, of events that allow us to move out of these limiting narratives that we live in. 
these narratives about roles, about being lesser than, about being the other, about needing to strive to be equal to, these stories that we have inherited through centuries. And the deities invite us to step out of those limiting narratives. Then we will work together on how you embody your responses to this deity. That is, how you find yourself within this constellation of the deity. And then we will move towards what is your deity presence in the encounters of daily life, in the movements of daily life, in our ordinary day-to-day -day circumstances? This is the movement of coming into absolute presence. And this movement is about that loving, devoted attention to the beauty of that movement that we are in without any attention or fear about the outcome of that. And this, of course, is unconditional freedom. And this is the deity, the sacred movement, where we taste beauty beyond anything that we know or we can imagine and eternity, this eternity of sacredness. So I'm looking forward to working with you. If you feel that this program resonates with you, and what you're looking for at this moment in your life. Some of you have already registered and I am honored and privileged and I'm so looking forward to collaborating with you to claim that unconditional freedom, to reclaim that sacred movement which is drenched in beauty and sensation. Namaste and thank you.